How you doing? Eric here from Chaperone Motorsports. Today we're going to take a look at some roller gear bags. Whether it's from the truck to the track, across country or overseas, getting your boots, jersey, gloves, pants, helmet, all that riding gear that you're going to be taking with you from one place to another can be a real pain. That's why a roller gear bag is a really good thing to have. We've got six different bags from six different companies ranging in size from 5,500 cubic inches all the way up to 10,000 cubic inches. Price range anywhere from just over $100 to just under $300 on the high end. Over on this end, we have the American Cargo Large High Viz Wheeled Gear Bag, followed by the Answer Racing OGO Rig 9800 Wheeled Gear Bag. Next to that is the Alpine Stars XL Transition Wheeled Gear Bag. Then you have the Fox Racing Shuttle Wheeled Gear Bag. The one industry Supra wheel gear bag. Lastly is the Fly Racing Grande wheel gear bag. Now before we go into each bag individually, I wanna highlight some key things on the front of the bags. So the first thing I wanted to point out is that we have two different styles of bags. You have a duffel bag style and a more traditional suitcase style. Your duffel bag style would be the Fly Racing, the Fox and the Alpine Stars, where it's kind of a collapsible bag, doesn't have the rigid sides like the American Cargo, the Answer, and the One Industries bags do. They also have the um, large opening in the center on the duffel bag style, whereas the suitcase style has one large lid that kind of zips from top to bottom and opens, giving you big access to the center of the bag. Another thing I want to point out is compression straps. You'll find those on the American Cargo and the Answer Racing bag. Now the compression straps are nice because it'll help cinch the bag down, which will tighten everything inside, keep it from rattling around. This is very good when you're traveling long distances so you don't have a big mess when you arrive um, at your destination. Another thing to look at is the reinforced sides. Again, you'll find that on the suitcase style travel bags. The reinforced sides are nice, especially when you're packing. You don't have everything collapsing in on you. It's very easy to get stuff in and out of, find things real easily. The duffel bag style, on the other hand, is nice for when you're actually not using the bag. It'll collapse easier. It makes it easier to store away, um, tuck in a closet somewhere. Now another thing I wanted to point out is the retractable handles. If you've ever used a roller bag with a short handle and you're in a hurry going across the airport, you probably got bit by it and it tripped you up and you fell down and you look like a fool. So a longer handle is going to give you a little more space between you and the bag and you'll find a nice long handle on the Alpine Stars bag. Besides the retractable handle, we also want to look at the grab handles. All of them have grab handles across the top. On the duffel bags, you'll find two halves that join together in the center to give you one extra point. Whereas on the suitcase style, you have multiple grab handle points on the lids, so that'll give you more options when it comes to loading and unloading the bags. Next, let's look at the back side of the bags. Most people wouldn't pay much attention to the bottoms of the bags, but there's a couple things I wanted to point out. Five of them have skid rails. However, the Answer Racing bag has a one-piece skid plate, so that's going to provide extra protection, make the bag even more rigid, and when you get into muddy situations, it's going to keep the bag cleaner and make it easier to clean up. All the bags have very sturdy wheels, however I will say that the American Cargo and the Answer Racing probably have the toughest wheels of them all, so when you load these things up really heavy, that's going to make it easier to wheel them around to and fro, especially when you need to get at the track and rough situations. Now let's take a look at each bag individually. Okay, so first we're going to start off with the American Cargo bag. Now a couple of unique things to this bag is, like I said, it's got the high-vis um, markings on it, so it makes it easier to find. Another cool feature is it's got this large swath of Velcro. American Cargo sells an accessory number plate kit so you can put your numbers on here. Back behind here, another feature that I like about this bag is it has a micro fleece lined goggle compartment. As you can see, it holds up to six pairs of goggles. These dividers are Velcro so you can change them around as needed. Over here, the bag has seven compartments total, offers 8,000 cubic inches of storage. So in here, you have a place where you can hold your paperwork. It's got a key ring, put your keys in here or whatever other stuff you want to put in there. As we said, this is kind of like a suitcase design. So you got this lid, the lid flips open. You've got two mesh lined compartments so you can put your wet or sweaty gear in here, keep it separated from the rest of your stuff. The bag comes with a 22 inch by 22 inch padded changing pad so that you can stand on this, keep your feet clean while you're taking your boots off. You can use this piece here to kind of use it as a divider and separate your gear, or you can take it out. You can take it out completely, 
put your boots down and then put this over the top to protect it if you to, excuse me to protect the rest of your gear if your boots are dirty and you've got one more storage compartment right here put some socks gloves a couple shirts or something like that in there um, very good travel bag especially if you're going to be going through airports and things like that next let's take a look at the answer racing bag with this bag you get 7500 cubic inches of storage with six storage compartments again you've got the compression straps grab handles on the top of the lid there's a storage compartment here in the top of the lid which you could probably put your goggles in or whatever you open it up inside you've got large main compartment then the nice thing is you have a mesh compartment here for again your dirty gear wet gear whatever got a large compartment here which goes through and then the nice thing is the lid opens up to provide a nice large kind of like wardrobe area so you can put you know your pants jersey your, all your fresh gear in here it also has a padded helmet compartment which is a very nice feature and then we'll take a look at the bottom as well so on the bottom here, you have what's called their SLED design, which stands for Structural Load Equalizing Deck. So it's a very hard, rigid deck system, kind of shaped like a toboggan here, as you can see on the sides. Makes it for a very durable and sturdy base. Gives the bag a nice, tough feel to it. Makes it easy to slide across hard surfaces. And in dirty situations, it makes it much easier to clean up. Again, you've got nice heavy-duty wheels on this bag as well. Now we have the Alpine Stars bag. Now this bag offers 11 compartments providing just over 5,300 cubic inches of storage. Again, this is a duffel bag style, so it doesn't have the reinforced sides. So it's gonna lose its shape when it's not filled with your stuff, but also it makes it easier to compress and stow away when you're not using the bag. Um, one thing you'll notice here, it's got a lot of perforated paneling, so that's gonna provide a lot of ventilation for your gear. At the top here, you have a nice large helmet compartment as you can see it's got a nice bright yellow interior lining to it so in low light situations that'll help you find your stuff easier make things easier to identify the back side or the bottom side I should say another compartment here put your boots in now both of these compartments are velcroed on the bottom and then zippered on the side so you completely you can completely remove them if you want to make for a large main compartment another key feature here down on the bottom, it's got a tarpaulin changing mat. It's got a little Velcro piece here so that it will stick there just like that. And then you have a nice big changing area. Keep your feet clean and dry. So that'll just get stowed back in there when you're not using it. We've got the single handle in the center. Nice large compartment on the side here. You can see with individual mesh compartments, zippered pocket here so you can put your coins, your keys, your wallet, whatnot, keep it safe. Little Velcro tabs keep stuff organized as well. The main compartment is nice and big as well. Again, like I said, you can remove these side pieces to make for one large compartment if you need. There's also another pocket on the back side which we'll take a look at next. So on the other side of the bag, instead of the one large pocket, you have three individual pockets, as you can see. Again, so you can put, you know, socks, goggles, what have you in there. Something a little bit larger in here, maybe a, a jersey or something. And then again, same size pocket on the far side. So that's it for the Alpine Stars bag. Uh, again, it's a little bit smaller than the other two that we've looked at, but with 5,300 cubic inches of storage, it still offers plenty of space to get all your gear in. Now we're going to take a look at the Fox Racing Roller Gear Bag. This is the big daddy of our group, offering nearly 10,000 cubic inches of storage. You've got nine separate storage compartments. You've got a helmet compartment up at the top and an individual boot compartment at the rear. So we open this up. You see a nice big area for your helmet. You've got a ventilated panel here, provide plenty of breathing for your gear. Same thing on the back, or excuse me, on the bottom side for your boots. Kind of goes back in there so you can point them in towards the main compartment. Another perforated paneling here for more breathability. 
you open the handle up. You've got a compartment here, which is nice. It's kind of like an easy access space, so you can quickly reach in to give your wallet or whatever. However, you can open it up down here as well, so you can get into this compartment if need be without having to open up the whole main section. So we can open this up. And you see a nice big main compartment, two more little pockets here, a Velcro pocket on the back side of the boot compartment so you can store some more gear in there. Then on the back side, you have one more storage compartment here. And then finally, there's a nice big changing mat that's attached to provide you plenty of room to stand and, and change your boots and shoes and whatnot. So next we have the One Industries bag. Now I don't know the exact storage specs on this, but I'm gonna say it's somewhere in line with the Alpine Star bag. So roughly about 5,400 cubic inches of storage. It's got 10 compartments. You've got four individual compartments on top. And what you'll see right away here is that it's got this nice bright red lining, which again will help you find your stuff in low light situations. These three are all the same. This one up here, however, is a little bit different as it's got two zippered mesh line compartments so you can store your wallet, money, and things like that in there. So like the answer racing, this is a suitcase style bag with the lid where it flips open like that. The nice thing about it is you have this separate wardrobe compartment again. Keep your, all your clean, fresh gear separated from everything else down in here, your t-shirts and shorts or whatever. Then over here, you've got a padded helmet storage area. And then in the main compartment, this flap is Velcro. So you can put your boots down in here, close the flap up, and that way, if your boots are dirty, it won't get the rest of your gear dirty. Again, if we close this back up, you'll see that it's got three handles on the top of the lid, two more handles on the side here, as well as two handles on this side, and one handle at each end. So plenty of grab points to make this bag very easy to transport. So that's the One Industries Supra Wheeled Gear Bag. To round out this wheeled gear bag comparison, we have the Fly Racing Grande bag. Now this bag has nine compartments and offers about 7,500 cubic inches of storage. What's unique to this bag that the others don't have is you've got these little icons for each of the compartments to show you where you might want to store your gear. Um, on the sides here, it's showing your boots storage. However, what I was able to do is I was able to fit a pair of boots in this side and then stuff a helmet over here on this side. So if your boots aren't too big, you can get them both into one compartment and then that leaves more space in the center area. Now here you've got one more pocket and then it's showing here that you might want to store your tools. In this compartment, down on the bottom, you have a mat that flies out, provides plenty of space, it's padded so it won't hurt your feet if you're standing on rocks or anything like that. Open up the main section Nice big opening. You can see it's really deep. Plenty of storage to stack stuff real tall. Comes with a carrying handle. It's got this little organizer here so you can put your cell phone, iPod, some pens or whatnot. And that Velcro's in place there. The only thing is it's got this dark liner so it makes it kind of hard to find stuff in low light. Doesn't stand out like the others with the bright red or the bright yellow liners. You got plenty of ventilation with holes and mesh so your stuff will breathe really well and then you've got some other storage on the back side that I want to show you. Again here you can see how much ventilation the bag offers. There's two more pockets over here, a smaller one right there and then a goggle compartment. It's fleece lined so it'll help protect your uh, lenses. Plenty of space for at least uh, two pairs of goggles, some lenses and whatever else you want to toss in there. Now once again that's the Grande bag from Fly Racing. So the last thing I want to do before I wrap up this video is just give you a comparison of the largest bag, which is the Fox Racing bag at nearly 10,000 cubic inches versus say the One Industries bag, which is on the smaller side at about 5,300 cubic inches and put all this gear in it and show you how much space is available in each bag. Now we have what you would typically take to the track plus some extra stuff such as a pair of boots, chest protector, 
knee braces, helmet, neck brace, socks, two pairs of gloves, two pants, two jerseys, two goggles. So quite a bit of stuff. We'll go ahead and start stuff, uh, filling up this box racing bag first. Okay, so as you can see, everything fit in there really easy. I just wanted to show you that there's still more space. You've still got a pocket back here on the back side. Then in that little small lid compartment, you could fit even more goggles, some lenses, some t-shirts to kind of protect them if you wanted to. Then in the main compartment, there's still a ton more space in there. So you could fit even more riding gear even more pants, jerseys, shirts. You've got these sections over here that haven't been used, as well as these pockets over here. So this bag has a massive amount of storage. Now let me show you how it compares to the One Industries bag. All right, so we have the exact same amount of stuff. However, this is the One Industries bag, so it's almost half the size of that Fox Racing bag. So let me show you how this stuff fits in. So as you can see, we're able to get all that stuff into this one industries bag as well. However, there's not a lot of room for anything extra. So there you have it, six different gear bags, six different sizes. Each of them has some unique features. So hopefully we've helped you make a more informed decision when it comes to purchasing a roller gear bag. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.